Olympiad <laughs> 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 Մենք տարիներ ենք ունեցել 25-ից ավել երկրներ են մասնակցել օլիմպիադային եւ դա խոսում է այն մասին, որ օլիմպիադայի նկատմամբ հետաքրքրությունը գնալով աճում եւ աճում է։ Շատ կարեւոր է նշել, որ օլիմպիադան անցեկացվում Հայաստանի Հարաբերության վարչապետի բարձր հովանոներքո եւ այդ Triple TTC միջազգային էլեկտրոնային եւ էլեկտրոնիկայի ճարտարագետների ասոցիացիայի հետ մեկտեղ Ես կուզեի ձայնը տալ օլիմպիադայի կազմ կոմիտեի նախագա Արմեն Բալդրյանի, ով որպես կազմ կոմիտեի նախագա կգիսի իմ ուտքերը։ Բարև ձեզ, ինչպես գիտեք միկրոելեկտրոնիկան այսօրվա ծեխնալոգյաների սիրտն է և ոչ միայն այսօրվա այլև � Եվ այս տնտեսական հեղափոխության, չորոր տնտեսական հեղափոխության ժամանակաշրջանում շատ կարևորում ենք մի պրոյլեկտրոնիկայի դերը հավոշվարային տնտեսության զարգասմանք մեջ։ Ահա ինչով է կարևոր հենց մասնակցությունը � երկրների դիրքը միկրոելեկտրոնիկայի քարտեզի վրա եւ անել համապատասխան փոփոխություններ կրթական ծրագրերում աշխատանքային ծրագրերում եւ ավելի զարգացնել միկրոելեկտրոնիկան իրենց երկրներում սա նաեւ շատ լավ հարթակ է որպեսի տարբեր երկրների ինժեներները ապագա խոշոր ընկերությունների ռեկավարները եւ իհարկե տեխնոլոգիական մասնագետները շփվեն մի միանց հետ արդեն 2000 տարիքում ստեղծեն մի այսպես ասած սոցիալական ընկերակցություն որը հետագայում միասնաբար առաջ կմղի տեխնոլոգիաներ եւ այդ առումով շատ կարեւոր է որ սա անց է կացվում հայաստանում քանի որ Հայաստան արդեն նախանշել է իր դիրքը միկրոելեկտրոնիկայի քարտեզի վրա եւ կարծում եմ այնպիսի գիգանտ ընկերություններ ինչպիսի սինոպսիսն են որը գործում է Հայաստանում հենց այդ պատճառով է գործում եւ դա մեծ նշանակություն ունի ցանկանում եմ ցանկանալ հաղթողներին ամենայն հաջողություն իրենց ապագա կյանք եւ աշխատանք Հայաստանում պարոն Բալդերյան, սիրով խոսքը սուզում եմ տալ օլիմպիադայի գլխավոր գործ ընկեր, մի բայմ տես ընկերության գլխավոր տնորեն, պարոր Հայլ վիրիկյանին, որով հետև առանց համագործակթյան, առանց գործ ընկերության Մինչ ասեմ, 16 տարի անով մեջ վիվայն տես աճակցում է հասնահացել միջանը, ինչու շատ պարս, որով է դեղա գնհայտ է, որ տեղետը բոլորդում կվայնացման ամաշվորային որոտակի իրագանացման կործում Հայաստան ուրախ էի, որ միջասկային որմպյադայում ոչ մի այն մասնակցում են մեր հայրնակիցները, այլ երբեմ են հաչողությունների ալհասնում են, մի խոսքով ոլիմպյադան գայացել էր, նմարորինակ նախացերնությունները չապազանց կ Եվ ինչու չէ, ու էրների ատավոս կանխելու տեսանքումից, շոնակալությունը։ 
Հրակալություն պարումիրի կյան, եթե լրագրողներ ունենք հիմա մեզ հետ և հարցեր ունեն կոնգրետ կապված ոլիպյադայի հետ, սիրով մենք կլսենք իրենց, որտև երկրոպեից արդեն պիտի սկսենք պաշտոնական � Ես միացել եմ շամթարուստան գեսուն դիգրան հավակիմյան։ Դիգրան ճան լսում ենք ձեզ, եթե ունեք հատուկ հարցեր, ծրագրային կոմիտեին, կոմիտեին, սնով Սարմենյայի հիկավարությանը, ռայլ վիրիկյանին, հնդրեմ տվեք ձեր հա Լավ, ես կուզեի լրագրողներին ասել, որ միջոցառումից հետո ավելի կան պատրաստենք, ծանկացած իրենց առաժեշ տեղեկատվություն, տրամադրել հայր են լեզվով, որով հետև մենք կարծում ենք, որ լավ գործերը ամելը լավ է, բայց այդ գործերի մասին խոսելը շատ կարևոր է ոգևորելու և դրականորինակը տարածելու իմ աստով։ Լավ, ես չատում տեսնում եմ, որ արդեն մենք մասնակիցներ ունենք, որոնք հարցնում են, թե միջոցարումը կսկսվի թե չէ, ես ուզում եմ սիրով անցնել անգլերենի և բացել միջոցարումը. Hello everyone, welcome to the awarding ceremony of the 16th International Microelectronics Olympiad. The Olympiad started in 2006 with the initiation of Synopsis Armenia, and it was just Armenian micro microelectronics Olympiad. After two years, the Olympiad was involved, evolved and became international. And uh, more than 25 countries participated in this Olympiad. And um, the Olympiad attracted hundreds of young engineers uh, over the world. Uh, of course, uh, COVID situation changed a little bit the, the way we arranged Olympiad. This year, the Olympiad brought together 436 participants from 13 countries who competed in the first stage of the Olympiad held in their local countries. 21 finalists were qualified to the second final stage. Let's welcome the finalists. Um, let's, let's welcome each of them. Argentina is represented by Lucas Hirsch. Lucas, are you here? Welcome. The Belarus is represented by Yaroslav Galkin. Are you here, here, Yaroslav? Okay, let's go ahead. We welcome Dejan Gutik from Bosnia and Herzegovina. We welcome Arkiso Alvin Martins from Brazil. <coughs> we welcome Hassan Mustafa Imam Ali from Egypt and Khalid Mahmouda Mohamed Abdel Razek from Egypt. Omar Gonzalez Huisa from Peru, Angela Kostik from Serbia, Tong Ngong Kuen from Vietnam, Khaled Mohamed Fahmi from UAE, Semenyenko Ivan from Ukraine, and Kevin Emmanuel Gubi from USA. Let's welcome them and congratulate for going for becoming finalists of the 16th Microelectronics Olympia. We also have finalists from Armenia and uh, I will be more than happy to welcome them also. It's uh, Sergo Haritsunyan, Arman Galistan, Sevak Ulkasyan, Tatevit Chibukchan. Uh, and um, Jana Hadje. Uh, we are honored with the participation of Robert Hachatrian, the Deputy Minister yeah. of Armenia High Tech Industry Ministry. And I'm very happy to give the stage to Mr. Robert Hachatrian to welcome. Thank you. 
Hello, everyone. Um, I am very pleased to participate in the awarding ceremony of the 16th annual oh. Microelectronics Olympia and would like to congratulate all the participants of it. This is one of the important technological events in Armenia, which combines representatives from various countries, cultures, and societies. Over many years, an important platform has been formed which strongly promotes innovation and creativity among people from different countries who all share one crucial similarity, striving for knowledge. The role of microelectronics and demand for specialists in the field has increased significantly in the recent years. More and more people are interested in making a career in this sector. The Olympiad has paved the way to a unique talent pool, which helps all the participants to choose a future profession most fitting to their needs and expectations. It is crucial to emphasize the special role of the governments of all the participating countries, which have greatly contributed to the organization of the event. This is a vivid example that dialogue is the best way to ensure the free flow of ideas and mutual understanding between people. Regardless of the number of restrictions caused by COVID-19 pandemic, the Olympiad has proven yet again that ideas can overcome in any distance and uncertainty, bringing with them new solutions and creating. Although the nature of each competition is sometimes interpreted in the framework of winner-loser dichotomy, I tend to regard the Olympiad as a huge instrument for laying foundations for future cooperation as it establishes sustainable connection between everyone involved in the change of ideas. I am convinced the Olympiad has been beneficial and fruitful for everyone present here and express readiness to always have input in its organization within the authority of the Ministry of High Tech in the Army. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Hachatrian. Um, again, uh, we are honored to have you with us. Um, I would like to pass the stage to Dr. Yervan Zorian, the president of Synopsis Armenia. Yervan, are you here? Uh, yes, I am here. Uh, thank you, Gayane. Uh, thank you, Deputy Minister. It is wonderful. Um, to join you at this very special occasion. It's an occasion where we are celebrating together the ending of a long process. It's a process, as you have noticed, that started months ago with the semifinals in different countries to the finals uh, that happened just very recently. Uh, we have done this many times and we have done it uh, non in a non-virtual world uh, originally. And, and this year we did it very differently. Hmm? But we still are very successful in doing so because the topic itself is extremely important. You know, microelectronics stands behind everything that we do. Hmm? Uh, the microelectronics is the backbone of technology at large, of all our systems. Hmm? Uh, the chips sit uh, in every single domain and they provide us the necessary uh, vehicle to move forward all the advancements that we see in speed, in, <clears throat> in power, in dimensions, in shrinking and so on, they are all due to the same fact, due to the fact that we are able to advance in microelectronics and be able to obtain all our new systems. Uh, I think that your involvement in this domain, in microelectronics, will be very helpful will be very strong and you'll be able to, to get uh, results in the future of your life, whether you are a creator of, of microelectronics or a user of microelectronics, it will be part of your lives in the future. So I'd like to congratulate all the participants for being uh, a part of this game throughout, uh, being successful in their countries and also now globally. I'd like to thank all the organizers for making uh, this happen. And I'd like to also appreciate the work that you'll be doing in the future as being connected to each other as well as a community. Mm -hmm. With that, I'd like to thank you and, and come back to, to Gane. Gane. Microphone, Gane. 
Diana, you're on mute. Sorry, I was muted. I would like to inform all participants that Yervan Zorian is also the president of IEEE TDTC. And this is Technical Council for Test Technologies of the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. And it's a big honor for Microelectronics Olympiad to be held in conjunction with this uh, great organization. Thank you, Yervan, again. Now, I want to give the floor to Rosanna Goroyan, whose efforts I'm sure every foreign participant knows very well. And uh, we want to ask Rosanna to present some overview presentation about the Olympiad um, history and how it became, how it grew. Please, Rosanna. Rosanna, you are on mute. Uh, hello, dear participants. I will share the presentation to your attention. So it is already 16 years since uh, we are together and we started uh, organizing the International Microelectronics Olympiad of Armenia. So it started since 2006. Uh, the chief supporter is Vivacell MTS. The organizer and initiator is Synopsis. Uh, the general sponsor is Unicom. It is also sponsored by UEICT, Viasphere Technopark, and Ingo Armenia. Uh, the Olympiad is held in cooperation with the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers at Ripley Test Technology Technical Council, uh, TTCC, as Gaiane mentioned. So more than 25 countries have participated since the beginning of the Olympiad. Uh, as usual, uh, not counting this year and last year, the winners of uh, country national Olympiads visit Armenia for the final stage. So they come here for the final stage, they are given problems to solve, and then the results are announced to them. Uh, here are the photos from the previous years when we didn't have COVID. So the participants writing And when visiting Armenia, all the participants have always enjoyed an unforgettable three-day trip with a rich cultural program. They visited different sightseeing of Armenia, enjoyed all their trips. You can see photos of the previous years visiting Garnik Gerard, Armenian places in Yerevan also. So you see the happy faces. And there has always been a special recognition night where the winners have been announced. Uh, so this year it will be held online again. This is the ceremony replacing what you see on your screen now. So again, you can see some video from the ceremony held two years ago. So, and uh, let's hope that next year uh, we will have a live ceremony here with participation of all the uh, country representatives. Thank you. Thank you, Rosanna. Um, this is the right time to mention our partners and sponsors and share our big appreciation for their support and partnership. The, General partner of the Olympiad is Viva MPS. The main supporter is Unicom Company. Among the sponsors of the Olympiad are the Union of ICT Employers, Viasver Techno Park, Ingo Armenia Insurance, CJSC. And uh, now 
it's with great pleasure I want to pass the stage to Mr. Ralph Irikian, the general manager of Viva MPS. Please, Mr. Irikian. Thank you, Gayane. No, I'm going to be short. Um, I would like to wish all the participants all the best, hoping that they win, although very uh, few of them would be selected and they would be winners. But at the same time, um, I would like to also pass my greetings to the organizers, to the, to the masterminds behind such a program, which has been going on for 16 years and wish them to continue for further 16 years, plus 16, plus 16, as much as they can. And we will try our best to be next to this program to support it on the go as well. All the best to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rikan. Thank you again. I am pleased to give a floor to Armen Baldirian, the director of Unicom, our main supporter. Please, Mr. Baldirian. Thank you very much. Dear participants, dear colleagues and guests, as you know, microelectronics is the health of current uh, and even future technologies and of course, uh, the fourth industrial revolution. That's why participation in the annual microelectronics Olympiad is of great importance for the career path of uh, students and engineers under 30 years worldwide. This is a global context for young talents engaged in the field of microelectronics and EDA. It provides, provides an excellent pl platform to understand the participants' level of knowledge, which is to, uh, which led to turn uh, contribution to the uh, development of microelectronics and technologies. Uh, Dolinfet is a successful example of cooperation among business, uh, academia, and government. And uh, I have to encourage the further development of microelectronics worldwide. Uh, initiated by Synopsis Armenia, the Olympiad also uh, plays an uh, important role in creating a global community of young specialists involved in microelectronics. Uh, thanks to a sponsorship of our partner, Viva and this, the opportunity to travel to Armenia is uh, providing to be a very attractive prospect. The uh, link that also highlights Armenia's ranking as a center of excellence for my microelectronics education. Today, we are glad to announce the winners of the 16 Microelectronics International Olympiad. Congratulations to all participants, and especially winners, and best wishes to all the participants for a, a promising future. Thank you. Why I am so... Okay, uh, Armen Baldrian's speech made me think that we have to share with participants the logic of the Olympiad, how it is held. Yes, the first stage is held in the participant countries in local universities. And the finalists are who are winning in the first stage, they travel to Armenia. And it would never happen if Vivasa Lempes would not partner with our Olympiad and support this part, but also, I would like to mention that every sponsor made its contribution, like Ingo Armenia brought, gave them ins travel insurances and Unicom travel uh, content and uh, quality support. And uh, Viasfer Techno Park, where Synopsis Armenia is located, uh, always took care about the lunches and dinners. <laughs> so everyone brought its contribution and uh, it, even since the Olympiad is initiated in and organized by Synopsis, it would never be happened about our lovely sponsors. And 
from this, I want to take the chance and invite for the talk Professor Vazgen Melikan. He is the only person, he is the president of the program committee, and he is the only person who takes the whole hard work of arranging the first stage, the final stage, creating all the content of the Olympiad and bringing these hundreds of young engineers together to learn from each other, to, to communicate from each other and compete for the prizes. Mr. Melikan, please, your turn. Thank you, Diane. Uh, their participants, their colleagues, I want to congratulate all of us for successfully conducting the sixth International Microelectronics Olympiad. It is important that even this situation, interest towards the Microelectronics Olympiad does not reduce and many countries participated in it. Naturally, participation would have been greater in normal situation. The Olympiad serves its main mission and with every year, the level of participants' knowledge increases. I want to share with you brief statistical data about the last Olympiad. 436 students participated from 16 countries in first stage and they saw the tests online, and 21 students from 13 countries participated in the final stage. They solved problems online. I want to express my deep gratitude for the all sponsors mentioned by Guyane and the Org Committee of the Olympiad, by I, but I want to express my special gratitude to all members of Program Committee and Synopsis Avenue Educational Department employees who supported this whose huge work made the Olympiad success. I, am, uh, I congratulate all the winners, the names of which will be announced later. Kane. Thank you, Professor Pelikan. Um, uh, we are approaching to the awarding ceremony part, and uh, I'm I, I'm happy to announce that now it's the time to learn who are the winners. The person who helped me, Asmet, is blocked out, blocked out, and cannot be. Uh, <laughs> I would like to invite Synopsis Armenia President What's Dr. Yervan Zoran for uh, announcing uh, the uh, third uh, place winner one of the third place winners. Uh, I'll, I'll be pleased to do that, Gayane. Uh, thanks a lot. And uh, the third place winner, one of them for this year, will be uh, Khaled Hamdoua Muhammad Abderraza. Uh, he comes from Egypt. He's one of our um, key participants. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us from Egypt and getting the third prize. We have two more. Uh, go ahead, Kenny. Thank you. Congratulations. I, I, I'm admired with Mr. Zoran's pronunciation. <laughs> Let's come to the stage. Khaled, if you have a few words to say, we'll appreciate it. I'd like to thank you so much for this opportunity. And uh, this is my honor to participate. And um, I wish good luck for all the participants. And thank you again for giving me this opportunity. Uh, it's really my honor and uh, thanks again. It's a wonderful to have you. Thank you, Mabruk. It's great to have you with us, and we hope you enjoyed your experience. Thank you. Congratulations. For the next result, for the announcement Thank of you. the next third prize winner, I'm very pleased to invite Synopsis Armenia Director and the Vice President of the Organizing Committee of the Olympiad, Dr. Hovik Husaylan. Hovik, uh, please. Thank you, thank you, Gayane. Uh, uh, dear colleagues uh, uh, and uh, Olympiad participants, uh, dear guests, in fact, uh, this year, too, like 
last year, the Olympiad jury has decided uh, to give uh, to give the uh, trip uh, awards for the uh, third place. Uh, I have the pleasure to open uh, this envelope and announce uh, one of the three third uh, award winners. So the third uh, of the 2021 International Microelectronics Olympiad goes to Angela Kostic, uh, Serbia. Uh, congratulations, Angela. As many of you may uh, remember, in the past three years, uh, it was Serbian participants who won the Olympiad. So the best traditions continue. Congratulations, Angela. Are you here? Uh, yes, I'm here. I'm currently at university. I hope that you can see me and hear Yes, me. we see you. We see you. You look great. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you very much for this prize. Uh, and uh, thank you for uh, the organization of uh, the Olympiad. It was my honor to be part of it. And uh, thank you for everything. Thank you, Angela. Uh, I want to tell everyone that the prizes will arrive to you. So soon you will have them in, in hard copies else as well. And Vazgen Melikan, the president of the program committee. Please, Vazgen. So this year we have three third place winners. The third, third place winner is Dejan Dutic from Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm congratulate Dejan, you. By the way, Bosnia and Herzegovina is the country which is participating first time in the, in the Olympiad. And they have already winner of the third place. Congratulations. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad that I participated in this uh, uh, competition. I don't know, I didn't prepare speech, but I'm really glad that you re recognize that Bosnia has potential to participate in this big event. So thank you very much. Thank uh, you, Dijan. Diane, I am sorry. I would like to show the, uh, the trophy uh, of the uh, award. Uh, for the third award, uh, and trophy, and the special trophy, and the bronze medal. And our winners uh, uh, will, uh, will receive, will receive the medal and trophy in, a, in a maybe in the uh, two or three weeks. Great, Mr. Musayla, very nice trophies. Now, it's turn for second prize. I'm very happy to invite the YMPS general manager, Ralph Vidikian, to announce the winner of the second prize. Second prize, first prize, guys. Okay. Gaiani, I'm supposed to announce the winner of the first prize. Armin really? will announce the second prize. Yes, second sure, prize. sure. I'm sorry. My sorry. glass is somehow. <laughs> Armin okay. Balderian, the Unicom director, will announce the second prize. Yeah, thank you, Gaelin. I just Armin, received an uh, envelope <laughs> from the jury and uh, opened in advance uh, uh, save time. And the second prize winner is, is uh, Mostafa Emamali from Egypt. Congratulations, Mostafa. Great job. Congratulations, Mustafa. Second prize is quite impressive. Are you here? Uh, do you mean, uh, my name is Hassan, uh, Hassan Mustafa Imam. Yes, Hassan. Oh, oh thank you. That always uh, happens to me also. People don't know what is the first name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, I am very happy. Uh, I didn't. Uh, Sorry for the mistake. Sorry for the mistake. 
<laughs> no problem. Uh, it's it's an honor for me uh, to participate. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. No. Uh, I am very happy. Thank you all. Uh, I didn't prepare for a speech, uh, but I am. It's an honor for me to participate in in microelectronics Olympiad. Uh, thank you. We thank okay. you. Okay, uh, uh, I would like to uh, show the uh, the second prize. Uh, this uh -huh. is the trophy and the silver medal for Mustafa. Bravo. Congratulations, Hassan. Now, finally, it's the turn for the first prize. Mr. Ralph Irigan, I think he will, he will announce the winner in their yeah. language. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. Uh, I'm just opening the envelope to see what's inside. And I'm happy to announce that uh, the winner of the first place uh, is, actually, I'm very happy to, to read the name. It's Janna Khojayam from Armenia. Wow. Congratulations, Janna. Congratulations, Janna. Janna is from Armenia, right? Oh, we, so many years we didn't have a winner from Armenia. Janna, you brought the prize to Armenia again. Are you here, Janna? Yeah, sorry, I was on mute. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's I really expect this. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to participate in such an amazing Olympiad day. <laughs> Thanks, my colleagues, my lecturers, my friends, everyone. <laughs> everyone to make this possible. <laughs> I, I don't have words to say thank you very much. <laughs> Jana, you, you, you brought a glory to our education department. I want to introduce Jana to everyone. Jana Kodaya is a master student of the Commissioner <laughs> Jana Khodjayan is a master student, second year master student of National Polytechnic University of Armenia that has a joint educational program with Synopsis Armenia Educational Department. This is an industry academia cooperation model and Synopsis Armenia uh, works with Polytechnic very closely and has a joint bachelor and master program. So Jana is a master student, but most importantly, being a student, she's already employed by Synopsis Armenia. And as I know, she's one of the leading in engineers, Jana, right? Okay, okay. let's congratulate again, Jana. This is the Ghana, this is the gold medal. Oh. Jana, and this nice, uh, nice trophy is a first award. And uh, congratulations to all of our winners again. I wish you many more uh, achievements and success in your uh, studies and career. Of course, I am very glad that we have the winner from Armenia after many years. And we will meet uh, Jana soon to give the award to her in person. Also, I would like to invite all of our winners to visit Armenia. Of course, we understand that uh, there are uh, restrictions uh, caused by COVID situation, but if you want and have the opportunity to travel to Armenia, we would love to host you by the end of the year. Of course, those who will not be able to travel, we uh, receive their awards by DHL or FedEx. Congratulations. Congratulations again, everyone. I would like to take a chance to, to uh, tell a few words about the concept of the Olympiad and the goals. 
one of the goals of the Olympiad is to create the community of young engineers. And I hope, we hope that this kind of events help you to know each other and to create that community. Also, we also say that how we can be sure that our curricula and educational programs are up to date and competitive. So the Olympiad is a right way, is a perfect way to bring you together and understand the lack, the gaps in our educational programs and make adjustments to make them to meet um, international standards. And also, like Hovik said, and that occurred me to, to continue his, his uh, idea, one of the goals is to raise visibility of Armenia. And I am more than sure that now you know Armenia, though, visual, though, though virtually, virtually, but I hope that one day, I hope that next year you will participate again in the Olympiad and one year you will travel. By the way, Armenia was the center of microelectronics in USSR. And starting from 1956, the uh, Armenia was announced as a center of microelectronics and a lot of research institutes and factories and fabs were established. A lot of um, chairs were opened in universities. And that's why maybe the number one EDA and chip design company like Synopsis entered Armenia in 2004. Uh, with this, I would like to ask if anyone wants to add something, we will be very glad to hear. Nobody wants to talk. I would like to ask a question. Uh, I, I didn't understand. Uh, we can come to Armenia for, to, for prize, is that right? Uh, no, <laughs> we, uh, the Olympiad is arranged in a way that the finalists should come to Armenia, should travel to Armenia and stay here three days, participate in awarding ceremony and enjoy the cultural program. But COVID restrictions made it um, failed. So if you personally want to travel, of course you can come, but usually, um, org committee and VYMTS sponsors the travels. But as this year, as COVID restrictions are in place, we arrange the final stage online, virtually. But you're always welcome to come and visit Snopes Army Educational Department as well. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Anyone from foreign participants who are not prize winner? Okay. With this, let's close our awarding ceremony. I'm sure that Rosanna will share with you the recording link. And for reporters, we will give the recording so they can use for media coverage. Sure. Okay, see you next year. Thank you again, everyone. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.